Hello and a very warm welcome back. Today we have this video to help you with Windows 7. If you are still using it in 2021 and you have a lot of concerns in your mind, a lot of questions with regards to the browser you need to use, the compatibility, it running smooth and safely and also security. Here is the right place you can get all the answers. Cause in today's video, we are going to cover the browser, the performance and maintenance, how you need to keep that and keep in mind this is applicable for Windows 7, Windows 8 and also Windows 10 and also security which is definitely very important and critical. So without any further delay, let's get to the system and let's get started. On to the system now and let's begin with the first step which is browser. So the suggested browser is Microsoft Edge. This is the new Edge which has now been built on Chromium which is Google's open source browser project. This new browser is definitely fast and quick and being from Microsoft itself you really do not have any reliability or compatibility issues. It definitely is compatible with Windows 7. I'm using it here right now. When you're using it, if you need to change the default search engine which is set to Edge by Microsoft by default, you can definitely do that also. We'll go to the menu options, go to settings. It's a bit hidden here so that people really don't change it. Under privacy, we scroll down and towards the end we have address bar and search click on that and here it says search engine used in the address bar so here we can change it to anything right from bing to google yahoo anything of your choice so that's one thing and then you can get rid of all the unwanted browsers that you may have on your system beginning with google chrome mozilla firefox or any other third party software while in the control panel also make sure that you take off any unwanted software which is not being really used some heavy files could be there which could be making your system slow that brings me to the second part which is the performance and maintenance of the system so for that let's start with the basics first let's go to start and in the search box will type temp pers percent temp and again the percentage sign just hit enter this are all the temporary files on your system which keep accumulating over time you can just do control a which is to select all the files and delete them you can directly do a shift delete which will permanently delete all the files you have no other option but say skip here on the files which are currently open because you have them we'll close this and we'll get to control panel now for a bit more advanced step which is under administrative tools in control panel we'll go to that and event viewer over here in event viewer you can first go to files and options you have a delete files here under disk cleanup i'll click on that I have a confirmation, I say yes and ok. Next under windows logs, we need to clean, clear up all the windows logs under in this particular section. So we begin with applications, just right click and say clear logs. It will ask you do you want to save it which we really don't need for home use and this step is mainly for home use systems. So we will say clear, again we will do this. For all the four, under security, clear, setup, clear, systems, here is where you really find a huge big chunk, clear, forwards, you will not really find something, anything over there. So we are done with this step and we will close out of this. Now getting back to control panel and this is another step that you can do is user accounts many times there are multiple users set up on the system which could slow down the system so click on user accounts in control panel we'll do it again control panel and user accounts 
go to manage an, another account over here you will see the number of accounts listed on the system you'll definitely have administrator by default and you may you'll have a guest here you'll also have an account which if in case it is not used you can go ahead and delete it so this is the test account which i have created i'll go ahead and delete it if you have backed up all your files from that particular sub user please go ahead and say delete files again you have a confirmation of delete account and we are really done with that step now to the part of the security of the system so for that there are multiple things uh, that we need to take care of with regards to firewall with regards to antivirus so let's start with going first to windows update please ensure that windows update is enabled and that you're getting all updates yes microsoft has stopped support with regards to new advancements to softwares on windows 7 but there are a lot of security updates still being released back to control panel and we'll go now to action center here click on the drop down for security and now we'll see that in this system i have windows firewall turned on windows update is on so here it's a summarized look of the security system in uh, the security settings in the system under virus protection i have microsoft security essentials which is turned on now this is microsoft's default antivirus which is free for use and for free for lifelong use with systems the only condition being that you should be having genuine windows 7 so uh here are the links for the antivirus i have saved them in the description in case the direct link does not work please go ahead and use the alternate the manual download link for microsoft security essentials another important thing that needs to be done is running what is called a malicious software removal tool again this is available from microsoft as a free download we have two links as you'll see here a 32 bit and a 64 bit now how do you know which version do you have on your system for that i get back to the desktop i right click on computer go to properties here it gives me all my system details i'm using windows 7 professional and you'll see that under system type it's a 32 bit operating system with 8 gb of ram so in case your ram is below 8 gb maybe your 4 gb ram it is recommended on the hardware side that you also upgrade the ram to 8 gb so couple of things with regards to security first make sure windows update is enabled second make sure you have an antivirus microsoft security essentials could be the best bet you have the links in the description and run malicious software removal tool as per your os version hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful we covered three steps mainly one browser two performance and maintenance three is security so this is part one and we'll soon be coming out with part two which will be more detailed covering spyware and other security software and more in depth on performance of your system try this out do comment on if you have any specific issues with regards to your system and let's try to make this a success on using windows 7 in 2021 thank you so much take care and stay safe